What is going on YouTube? Thank you very much for coming in and watching this video. I really do appreciate it, guys. So today we are making ourselves a little bit of a challenge. We are going to be playing Green Hell on Green Hell mode. So with Green Hell mode, there is more enemy hostiles. Sanity penalties are increased. After death, everything is lost. So if we die, this is that series gone. Hopefully we can do a couple of videos. I'm going to try and keep each video between 45 minutes to an hour long. Depends if we die on the third or second one. Or even on the first one. Let's see how far we actually get. Right. Let me know as well down in the comments. Have you tried it on this difficulty before? And how far did you get? How many days did you survive? And also as well, if you've got any hints and tips for myself or anybody that is new to the game, let me know down in the comments because sharing is caring after all. And a little bit of a heads up i'm full of a cold at the moment so i do apologize if it sounds a little bit bunged up right now so fingers crossed we get through this very quickly and easy i'm gonna try and complete this as a beginner's guide as well so if you are new to the game hopefully you might learn something some hints and tips and tricks you never know right okay where have we spawned okay see some nuts falling down from the tree We've got some nuts. <laughs> Very good sources of fats as well, these nuts they are. Right, our planet is there. Thinking if we come down this way, get some sticks. And I need to get some stones. Hopefully there might be a stone or two on the edge around here. Oh, got a stick long. Oh, perfect place to spawn in. This is the absolute perfect place. Because my favourite place is right up there. It really is. <laughs> it's a great place to start. Right, um, stones. So there should be one over here. There we go. And we've got harvest. Make ourselves a axe and a blade. Let's make a blade first. Graph that one with sticks and that. Ah, sorry, Mr. Turtle, but I need to. I need a shell. Pretty simple. I need a shell. Right, okay, we've got that shell. Let me get you. i harvest you. And I'm going to throw a stone at you. Oh, obsidian. Nice. Oh, <laughs> where was that? You sneaky... Oh, there you, there you are. There you are. I can see you. I can see you were there. So, tip of the day. If you hear anything, sounds like a creepy crawly or a snake. Just jump back to where you came. <laughs> We've got an ore vein there. Well, this would be a well good place, wouldn't it, to actually live if it wasn't for them cr pesky critters. Right, okay, why are we here? Um, let's craft you a rope and stone pickaxe. There we go. I'm actually going to take some. Oh, there's none there. Oh, is there, there's one there. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just smashing it. Normally it comes up saying <laughs> if there's anything there. I was testing it, I was testing it. There we go. There we go, we've got one there. Right, we have to be careful we don't use up all our energy before... Shit! Seriously? Seriously, yeah, what the hell? This just broke so quickly. Try that again. Um, drop. We'll come back later. We don't really need it right now, do we? But we know where some is. It's good for future references. A little bit of a tip for you as well, guys. If you make yourself a little dagger like so, you can actually chop down trees with it. Believe it or not, you don't need an axe. So if you're running around jungle and you can't find a stick, especially at the start, with blue mushrooms, these are great for energy. So 
Yeah. If you can't find yourself a stick to make it an axe, use a stone blade to cut down that tree. Then you can make yourself a couple of items here straight away. We'll craft you. Um, you can actually do it with trees as well, so it's not just not just um, small sticks, long sticks or whatnot. You know what I mean. Do that. Bandages. So I'm gonna craft. Craft three of them. It's so much better that you can actually create three at a time. When I first started playing this game, you have to literally make each one at a time. Such pain. Okay, I don't like snakes. Let's go throw a stone at its head. How the graphics look so much better in this game since I last played it. Must have done a little bit of an update. I think there's been several updates to be fair. Let me know as well, where is your favourite place to build on Green Hell? Where's like the one go-to spot you normally do? Uh, bananas, nope, there's nothing there. Right, we need to keep our eyes on for, for coconuts. By the way, this stuff here is heart of the palm i think it's called heart of the palm and it's a great food resource so if you see them cut them down you need food okay i've got a bow i've got no arrows leave that snake alone i feel there's another snake around here somewhere no problem about building around this location. There's quite a few little snakes. And poisonous frogs as well. And sometimes if you're spamming E, you can get done in by a, a poison frog very easily if you're not careful. I'm sure. Remember off my memory. Turns them right. They should be a tobacco plant around here somewhere. Unless it's all been moved. Quite possible so. <laughs> Where are you? Mr. Tobacco. A lily. Maybe, maybe the lily. I know jaguars live down that way, so we're not going to go down there. There's a stingray around here, or there used to be. Let's be careful there. And also, if you go that way and then do a left towards the cocaine factory, there's also a jaguar that goes around there. So be careful. Right, coconut. That's what we're looking for. Coconut. I've got sidetracked to them. Another little tip for you. These little shells. You just keep hitting them with your axe. The turtle will stay there, that little buddy. But you're getting your axe points. So if you want to do this, it's kind of like a little, um, a little easy way to no. get your fast XP up. That's a little tip for you. <laughs> okay, we're 10 minutes into the game so far. We're surviving. We're surviving, we just need to be thriving. This place as well, if you do have your base over here, is a perfect place to start your fire. Just be careful, again, of all these little froggies, because they are poisonous. Yeah, I think that should just be okay there. Just be spamming E, looking at that. You get you pretty quickly. Um, right, yeah, we need a racks, don't we? So craft. We'll use the obsidian this time around. Bit of rope. That lasts a little bit longer. And this is going to be our home base. Right here. 
Now, I'm not going to build too much here. I'm just going to build, like, this is a good little establishment. Because we get fish around here. Over, up, up, up that way there, we can get fish. Some there in the water. We've got loads of stones. We've got resources. We've got a bamboo forest on this side. But I really do love this place. This is probably my favourite place to actually build. Oh, let's go crazy. Let's just chop everything down for a second. Energy. Alright, we'll get some leaf piles in our bag. So when that dries out, we can use it as kindling. Check. No problem is that this burns up so much energy, doesn't it? Well, that should do us for now. Uh, two long ones. Wicked. Alright, so if we build... Right, can we build one there? And reframe. So I'm not using any mods either. So everything that we're going to be doing here is. What oh, footsteps behind me then? Yep. Yeah, so everything we build is obviously mod free. So if you want to build here yourself, if you want to take notes, then you can do, guys. You can do. But the reason why I chop loads of trees down straight away is because we get f we can carry three logs at a time. Just easier. Need the one, don't we, for that bit? Um, long bamboos. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's not real point much saving it, really, is there straight away? Because if we die, oh, we've lost everything, haven't we? <laughs> rope. I need some rope. Remember correctly? Should be a little tribal part up here. Dead animals are always great to pick up if you see them. Stay away from the ant nest. Um, if you do get a cut from a jaguar or anything, or one of the tribes from cut, you have a real deep cut and you need to stitch it up. You can use a ant's head as a stitch. But to get ants, if you go near it, they'll start biting you straight away. So what you need to do is light a torch and walk towards it with a torch and you can pick the ants up. These are great little food resources. Again. But I hate being full of a cold. It is horrible, isn't it? A couple of recipes up here. Got a bamboo smoker. Got fire. We've got a torch. Let's take that torch, why not, eh? Why is it? There we go. Why are you why is it not <laughs> why are you not chopping? Do your job axe. I'll go drink two for now. I'll take that full one. Then we've got craft that one. Uh, we don't have rope, so we can't. <laughs> Let's go make a five in then. So my nose is completely blocked at the moment. Got another one? Yep. Uh, inside the cave as well, there's quite a few recipes. Need to be careful with them like little creepy crawlies and don't wear. Right, let's get that bin up. Right, okay, so that's the one we're drinking. So let's craft two coconut binnens. And 
third one. Not gonna drink it again as well. Why not? Go we'll harvest it. Right. Okay. Um, cave entrance. Get some more leaves. Right, so is that six we've got now? I think there's six bandages we've got all together. These orange ones, these are really good for parasites. So if you have any parasites from either eating dirty food or drinking dirty water, eat some orange mushrooms or the blue ones as well. They're really good for them. But I heard something. That was you. It's okay. For ten. Oh, I've gone past it. Where's where's the cave? Ah, oh, there we go. I was right past that, didn't I? I was gonna miss that. Big open cave. Okay, be careful when you're running around here. Couple pesky scorpions. And miss. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> We go for a knife at it, it's okay. <laughs> An obsidian? No, nope. what it was. Watch our feet. Ooh, nice. Water air. I don't think it's clean, is it? It's just like dirty water, it's always dirty, is it? Yeah, I'm safe. And listen out. There we go. One over there. So we've got a couple of recipes here. More coconuts. Take the canned food. Hit them as well. Oh, snake. <laughs> no, I've seen a bit of snake. I'm not messing about with you on whilst I'm on green hell mode. One bite could be death. That's okay. We don't need anything else around there. Right. Our energy is okay at the moment. It's not too bad. Carry that down a little bit. That was going really bad, isn't it? Back on my way. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? I think uh, you're a little bit of a weakling, aren't you, when you first start off? Right, let's get this sorted. I need a bed. Oh, we need a mud. We need mud first, don't we? So in the meantime, what we're going to do make ourselves a bed for the floor. I've got a leech just just gnawing on my arm there. <laughs> make ourselves a leaf bed so if our energy goes completely down we can sleep somewhere at least. Sanity is getting tanked. I was getting my sanity down, so I've got a couple of hints and tips to increase your sanity as well. Right. Looking good, looking good. God, I hate like hearing things in the bushes and stuff. I'm like, ah! It's a tribesman. <laughs> it's always so much there, isn't it? Five, yep, I think that's enough. Right, okay, so if our energy gets too low, we can sleep there at least. Alright. I'm trying to think which side to 
build the mud mix one. I'm thinking this side, to be honest with you. So we need a mud mixer. Quite easy, the recipe. All you need to do is take mud. And this will give you loads of different recipes for your book. But loads like your pottery table as well is in there. Storage book uh, boxes. And we need fire starter kit, don't we? More sticks. We still need more sticks. Gosh. Right, there we go, got a couple more. Drop that down. So we're not running all the way around. What I'm going to be doing is dropping it off the edge. Oh my god, I'm so heavy. Actually, I need to run down anyway, don't I? <laughs> I've got too many items on this. Uh, let's throw some stuff down here that we don't need right now. So coconuts. They can go down there. Turtle shells. They weigh quite a bit. Get some water gathered for us there. Stones. Not too bad at the moment. We've got some sticks. That lot. Yep. Um, small sticks. Let's harvest a couple of them. I always get a little bit paranoid when we're not actually completed our base and we have some tribesmen coming around and we're not safe because we haven't got anything have we at the moment. I don't really want to light a fire just yet because it might attract some tribesmen as well. So that is a thing as well. So if you're building out in the middle of nowhere and you have a regular visits of the tribes, that could be because the fires. Just bear that in mind. When it gets a little bit dark at night, just try not to light a fire if you can. Harvey sticks. Got nine sticks now, that's good. Uh, is that all the trees that are up here? Not one more. What time are we on? Let's have a quick check. Oh my god, stop pressing G. It's C, V, F. There we go. That's quarter to seven. It's not too bad. I've got loads of sticks up here if we need them going forward. You know what? I've got to get some long sticks. I'm going to throw them off the edge as well. I'm going to need them shortly, aren't we, for other recipes? Is there any more? Any more big sticks? You carry five of these at a time, you see. Whoop. Done. Uh, let's chop another tree down. Careful snakes. Oh no! Oh, oh I'm it's again. It sucks, doesn't it, when you're at lower level? Break everything constantly. No, not palm leaf. <laughs> right, let's go. Uh, we need to go towards the cocaine factory place, don't we? So we can get a couple more recipes. I didn't pick up the ash when I was up at the place before. Campsite. I'm sure the fire at the top has got some ash. Just to make a quick run for it, aren't we? Tribesmen do patrol this beach part, so just be careful. 
The energy is okay at the moment. Good. Oh, stay away from that. Craft tobacco. Oh, oh wrong one. Make two of them dressings. These are really good for snake bites and stuff. So if you get bitten by a snake or anything, they're the really good ones for you. Oh, it's not been lit. Oh, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I thought there would have been something around here. I thought there would have been ash. There's not. Which means we've got to light a fire. Oh, God. That's a little bit of a wasted journey, wasn't it? Oh, darn it. Just wasted a minute or two, right? Could have been building. If you want to see more of these series, if you like them, um, let them know down below. Hit the comments like button and whatnot and you know if, if you like it i'll carry on doing like little series like this it's a great game i've got to say this is probably the best survival game out there by far it's such a good game right we're going to drink uh, we may as well cook some food up haven't we we've got some turtle meat going out in seven hours rattlesnakes nine hours so by the time we wake up if we did go to sleep it'll probably be you know, too late for that uh, we've got no dry leaves oh god oh gosh got no dry leaves got to wait till the morning where's my bed there it is i'm asleep Wake up for that midnight snack, haven't we? Whoosh. Right, we've got dry leaves now. Let's check. Yay, we've got dry leaves. Um, I'll go and make my favourite fire starter. I'll show you what to do. We need a plank. We need a plank, don't we? So we've got to cut down the tree. We've got. God, I've got no other stuff. <laughs> right, can I make it into a wooden spear? Yeah, weak spear, we can. That was thrown up into the snake. We've got no blade because we keep throwing stones <laughs> everything. It's okay, it's okay. Right, we killed the snake in there. I knew there's a snake around here. Sneaky little buggers, aren't they? So let's get back to what I was doing. I get sidetracked so easy. I don't know if you noticed. Oh god. Right, okay, so we'll go to craft. Long stick first. And we'll make a bow. And then with this bow, we're going to carry on crafting. Then we are going to get a plank of wood. A stick. Am I making it right? No stone. I'm sure it's that. Is it a little stick, small stick. There we go. Yeah, small stick. And this is my favourite one, the fireball. It's so cool. It uses the less energy as well. Believe it or not. That's one thing I love about this game. It's got a variety of different ways to even light a fire. You can do it any way you want. Um, right, okay, we're going to have to go harvest that instead. Rattlesnake meat, one day. Oh, 
glad these are going right off, aren't they? So let's eat some of them. Before they go off. Clean hours for you. Nuts last for quite a few days. So that's good. Cans, obviously, they don't run out of them. The good, the good cans. Alright, cool, cool. So, let's sleep it off that a little bit more. Hopefully, the fire will be gone out. We're going to wake up nice and refreshed. Our sanity is going to be going up a little bit more. Fire's still going. God, it's got lost a lot of that as well. You can eat burned meat, so don't worry about that. You can eat it, so it's still it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You only get two minus sanity, it's nothing. Minus two sanity, that's fine. Right, okay, whilst um, waiting for the ash, we're going to start down here. To build our next section of the bridge. Well, bridge, our base, shall I say. So, bamboo frame. We could build one there. And can we build one next to it? I can't remember if we could. If we built it there last time, no, we can't. But however, you can build it like here, so it pretty much goes to it. So we're in a good place. Um, escape. No, oh, wrong button. There we go. Cool. That's actually it. There it is. Right, where are these logs that we got? There we go. Uh, bamboo sticks. We can make blow darts as well. I've got loads of videos on this as well, guys. Um, so if you ever stuck with anything, if you let me know down in comments, and I'll try and help you as much as I can. Got loads of little guides. Um, so yeah. you on the playlist on the channel. You might be able to find the one for you. Or oh, check the comments as well down below because I'll um, I'll put them down. Well, description, so I'll say. I'll put it down in the description for you. Or even comment, no, guides and whatnot. Let's get that built. So, so far, so good. No, I mean, we're surviving. We just need to be thriving. That's what we need to be doing next. Get them built. Boosh. Bish bash bosh. Done. <laughs> the good thing about the bamboo as well. Each tree, you get three logs out of each one. So it's really good for the building aspects of stuff. Use less trees then, don't you? You get more resources. And for these, you get four per. Whereas long sticks out of normal trees, you only get uh, two. And for normal trees, you get two logs as well. Ah, there you are. Little, little stick there. Have a long stick, long stick. That mouse? I thought something was attacking me then. What was that? I'm trying to cut down a tree with it. <laughs> I'm trying to use a torch to cut down a tree. I'm going to be there for a while, won't we? They've got centipedes on here now, haven't they? And I've not really played the game since they introduced centipedes. I believe if they bite you, they can poison you. Uh, yep, yeah, cool, can go into that. He 
which is probably the perfect space to build location wise because the tribesmen they can't knock it down they don't go into the water so they'll stand on here shooting arrows at you but you just you know you dodge them or hide behind a wall or anything you're safe honestly it's really good and built it in the right location like i have there you can pretty much run all the way across as well so when you're carrying bricks if you just follow this little bit here Run straight across, and you got yourself a nice little bridge. And there we go, is it? So, let's get another one done. If you come about here, that's when you start swimming, so you can make it probably too deep. Or maybe one. Like I say, we don't need to make it too big and fancy. Because we're not getting too comfortable here, are we? Well, we're getting comfortable. Stupid we're going to start we we'll have to move on somewhere else to keep the challenge going. Or else it might get a little bit boring. I might be sitting in the same place all the time. We're going to be doing that now, do we? Okay. I heard of one as well. If you haven't made it this far in the video, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. But if you've got quite a few items in your bag and you want to move them all at once, like instead of dropping one stick at a time, if you keep your finger on Alt, you can pick the whole bunch up and you drop it. A lot of people ask me about that one. Sticks, 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 not sticks, rocks. <laughs> Look for the wrong thing, there we go, rocks, no one. Raft. And our fire should be out now as well. Just in time for the rain to come. Oh, he's still going. Oh my god, how long is that last day? That's lasting forever, that. I kind of need it to go out. Because <laughs> I need the ash. It's putting me behind a little bit. Uh, let's wash ourselves. Let's check her out, okay. So we need bits of food anyway, so we can take this opportunity to eat. Eat. Mm -mm. <laughs> Bit of four protein there for you. And we'll drop that we've got a bowl there for the water. And we'll go drink. So hydration water, so F. Right, we're looking good on a lot of things. Uh, I think it's fat that we need more, isn't it? Uh, carbs. More carbs. Oh, fire. Come on, hurry up. Hey, it's still raining as well. Look at that. That's what we need. If you didn't know as well, you can actually harvest coal to make campfire ash. There's another little tip there for you. Follow them today, aren't we? Two more logs. Get that bit boxed off, eh? So then I can put my bed up there so that if any tribes would come, we're at least safe where we're sleeping. <laughs> for the time being, that is anyway. Again, you know what this game's like. You think you're surviving, you think everything's going well, and then next minute, boom, sucker punch. Get bit by a snake. <laughs> then it's game over, dead. Right, we need ropes. Use a mud mixer. Come back over here. I need some mud floors, don't we? So, floor, where are you? Mud roof. Boing. Oh, 
I've still yet to play the Spirits of the Amazon. I might do a little walkthrough, guys, for that one yet. Yeah. I've not played it myself yet. So we can learn together on that game, can't we? Oh, do you know what? Why are we running our way around? I could just get through the middle section, can't we? Carry it. It's no problem when you're playing with no mods. <laughs> it takes forever. I forgot how long it takes to build. How do you build anything in mud? <laughs> yeah, but it does take a while. But right, after all, guys, we are doing a marathon. We're not doing a race. It's not a sprint, shall we say. Playing the long game. Mud. Can't fry ash, so harvest charcoal. If you get sick as well, for, um, like food poisoning or anything, that is a great one for you is eating charcoal. Just have a good little wash. Right. What we're looking at. Okay, we need some foods again now, don't we? We need to start being a little bit more cautious with our food and drink. Yeah, we've got two biddens, let's just use them. Instead of waiting for the rain. Oh, what the hell happened there? Spun around on me. Oh god, I thought something had attacked me then. Panicked a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, ah! Let's grab my shoulder. <laughs> right, I'm sure the tribes are going to be coming around here anytime soon. I've got, you know, you have one of them inkling feelings. Really bad feeling. Well, yeah. I do. Got a bad feeling about it. Uh, what time of day are we at? Nine o'clock at night, okay. Now we've got no. Arrows at the moment. Where was that snake as well? There was a snake around here. I'm sure there was. Uh, let's pick sticks up. Why is that snake it would kill? Does it not respawn back in the same place? <gasps> I think they normally do. Snakes. I've been killed so many times off them in the past. <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, one thing we do need to start making is a couple of arrows. <gasps> we need to make some arrows, don't we? Okay, so harvest. Uh, big stick, wait, there we go. Take these back to base for us, oh god, bird. Uh, I want to try and get. This little section over here done. I want to try and build there. I think that's got to be our like little, little, um, what do we call it? Oh no, it's not. 
Yes, it's not then. <laughs> of course, that'll be all that little kitchen area. I might do it there instead. Because I can still run, run in through here, can't we? Uh. Jump on. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So we need mud roof on this section next. Alright, let's get that boxed off. Uh, I can put a little kitchen fire in it. Firewall, what you want to call it. Got cooking, and we can have a bed in there. Yeah, it's right. It'll come, it'll come together really nicely, this. I've got a good feeling. Again, there's not much point saving it right now, because, you know, if we do die from whatever reason. Starvation. Oh, God, don't say that. <laughs> don't jinx me. Um, the longest I've actually done on this is, I think it's like 117 days. <laughs> Not a green hell mode, just on a. Uh, I think that was like a normal mode on the story. 117 days were built everywhere, <laughs> we've done everything. <laughs> As you can imagine, in that amount of time. You do quite a lot of things, can't we? Take mud. Oh, something is running low. Running low, we're running low on. We haven't got time to eat. The things we're doing, the walls we're building. Right, okay, so fats, carbs, carbs mainly. Right, we need some carbs. Hydrates five ten fats. I eat the maggots. Nope. Some water on here because uh, you know, the game doesn't want to rain for me at the moment, does it? But we've still got a can anyway. We've got a canned food, so that would give us. I thought it was like an iguana, so I don't know what I thought that was then. It's empty. Why is it empty? Gosh. The mud mixer. These days seem like they're lasting forever. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. I hope you noticed that as well. A long day. I might just do it in one level, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments as well. Do you want to see this base on a two level tier or just keep it as a single level? Get on the log, there you go. But that's had a little coffin fit. Right, okay, let's bamboo frame it. Get that one up on there. And mud roof there. So let's just get that mud roof section just in case it glitches. Sometimes you can't build like the walls or something on the side because this side of the floor might not be complete. It can be a little bit fickle sometimes. Running out of energy, aren't we? It's hard running back and forth. And keep on running. Do, 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 do. I know, I can make some mushroom soups. Oh, yeah, mushroom soup. If you know, you know. Oh, 
I was hoping to get the fireplace done first. <laughs> but it looks like it's not going to work because I need more ash, don't we? I've run out of charcoal for the last bit. Why does it keep doing that? What happened? Um, harvest. Build another fire around here. Bosh, bosh. Fireboat. Oh my god, what's happening? Where are we? I'm going to harvest the bird because I need some feathers, you see. Stick that on there. It's two feathers, isn't it? For one stick. Yeah. Raft. One, two, and make another two more. Just in case anything happens, we've got like, some ammo. I mean, it's not going to be a lot, let's be honest with you. We've got like three shots. <laughs> right, okay, this is where the game starts getting a bit tricky. Because we focus so much time on building. We neglected our foods, so we need some bubble mushrooms, don't we? There's a big mushroom over there, that would do. Uh, I'll go drink you, I'll go take you. Throw you on there, get some dirty water, put you into there, boil the water. I'm going to throw some mushrooms in there. Oh, we've got 12 proteins, 4 plus sanity. Oh, that's really good for us, that then. And we'll go drink some soup. We get 15 carbohydrates for the soup. And that is in one go. Another one. So there we go. We've got 30 carbohydrates. I can't say a word then. 30 carbohydrates <laughs> just off one soup. So. It's good. It's good. Ah, oh, boosted straight up there. Um, DC. Oh, it's level colors. What have got? I've got a leech on me. Yeah. <sighs> you pesky little leeches. <clears throat> Bye, I order. Filled up. Right, go on. Get as much as I can before the video finishes. Our time's coming up. I don't want to make it too long, you see. I think I know it is it's quite long for a video. <laughs> Majority of people probably turned off by now. I skipped towards the end. Hopefully you stayed with us guys. Try make it a bit more interesting next time, I promise you. <laughs> if you're new to the channel as well, don't forget to hit that subscription button so you don't miss out on future Green Hell content. Or any other videos that we do in that fact. So we survived our first day. First hour. First episode. Look at the graphics on the water. It's a beautiful game, isn't it? It's a really, really beautiful game. By far my favourite survival game out there. It's just so good. The way they've done it. I made it freaking hard, <laughs> especially if you're new to the game. Because I don't really explain the game well, do that. That's one thing, let's be honest. Creepy jar, not the really explaining for beginners. <laughs> oh, I thought 
fuck, then. Get up there, then. It's not. Oh, uh, centipede! Do you for you little bugger? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god, I don't say I'm gonna die because of a centipede. Ah! I don't know how to get them off as well. It's new to the game since I've played it. Oh no, we've got venom. Um, Jesus! Right. It's not good. Where did that sneaky bugger come from? I don't know. Water lily. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I don't think it will. Oh, don't go tired on me. This is going south very quickly. Just fire one quick. Oh my god, this is going south very quickly. Poison. God, just enough energy for that. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Got any wounds? Yeah, we have tobacco dressing. Let's double check. Is there any more? Oh, my God. Lily, I'm sure, I'm sure that does like some type of remedy for this lily. Hydration, food poisoning, oh no. Right, we need a drink. Oh, we need to sleep, sleep, ah no! Eat. We just need to get our energy up as much as we can. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep. Oh, right, okay, the poison is gone. Woo, we survived! We survived it! Oh my god! Oh my god, I thought we was dead. Right at the last bit, we're literally on 57 minutes. <laughs> I would have been gutted. Oh my god, where did that come from? That just come out of nowhere. Oh my god, that was like literally a proper sucker punch to me, wasn't it? We barely survived. But we did though, <laughs> we survived. Um, I don't really want this. F yeah, actually, I need the fire to go out eventually, don't we? So it's not too bad actually, after all. Um, see if there's any more mushrooms. Some rope sticks, keep them stocked up. Oh my god, do you know what? I've got to be honest with you. If my energy had run out while I was trying to make that fire, then that would have been game over. That would have been us dead. 100% that would have been us dead. God. I'm still in shock. <laughs> we survived it. Can we stick the tobacco in it? I can't remember if you can or not. No, I'm gonna take it because I'm going. We could, we could plant it later on, can't we? Oh god, thank God we had tobacco dressing as well ready for us. Uh, what you can do is maggots as well. Set some maggots in your soup, the boiling water. Don't touch that poison dart. Don't touch that frog. Alright, okay. Knocks your sanity off a little bit, but hey ho. Oof. Where the hell did that get me? I 
can't see it and I've been running around here all the time. Oh my god, I can't believe it honestly. I cannot believe it. <laughs> How lucky was we then? Okay, so I'm going to call it a day on the video. So thank you very much as well. If you've lasted this long for an hour, I kept you entertained for an hour. Really? <laughs> okay, thank you very much for coming along. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscription button if you are new to this channel. It doesn't cost you anything and you will not miss out on any future content. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two. And if you've got any tips and comments down below, let me know. And I'll you know, try to help you out as well. If you are stuck, let me know down in the comments as well. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support, guys. And I'll see you again next time. As always, take care of yourself and stay safe. Bye for now.